All right, guys, Gorley back with Gorley with Gaming, and we are ready to pass the dice. We're hoping that a 10 hits this round so that we can build a settlement. <clears throat> Man, that 9 we is just really uh, pulling that thief in. All right, so 7 again. We've hit so many 7s right now. It's Whoa, I just beat up my mic. Um, it's not even fun with all these 7s. We need some real numbers. Come on, Marianne. 10! There we go! Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to port trade our sheep for wheat. Um, and then we'll throw down a settlement. It won't be all that exciting because we won't be gaining any numbers. Um, but we'll be gaining a little bit more resources. 8. Uh, I didn't roll that, did I? Please tell me no. I think I've rolled 8 the last two times. It's just it's hitting a lot. Okay. Uh, this person will... No, wait. No, I do not want to give up my brick for ore, even though it's super rare. I won't give up my wood for ore either. Um, yeah, you treat with Marianne. She's your friend. Six. All right, so it's kind of sad that it hit now and not actually after I was able to build, but I still get the sheep. Uh, I have six sheep now. What could I really do with that? So if I port trade, I'll have down to four. Four, and if I build, I'll have three, and then I really can't do anything with that. Um, so let's just go ahead and which one is it? That's I believe it's this one. That's trade. Um, we will offer no. We will offer one sheet up for a wheat. We'll see if anybody will take that. No, no one will. So we're just going to go straight into port trading. Um, do that because we hate everyone and they hate us. So we will throw down our settlement we'll be king of the settlements um i don't want to get to this brick port over here i don't know if i have my mouse on or not i don't think i do so you guys can actually see what i'm hovering over um and then well i oh we can't get to this spot this 9 8 11 which is what i wanted to go for at one point um so we'll go for this I can probably go for this 8, 11, 4. I don't know if it would be useful um, to get that 11 or not. I don't know if it would be worth the extra row. Let's just pass the dice and we'll be able to try and to decide from there. Uh, but now if a 10 hits, we'll be getting an extra brick to trade away. If we want to trade it away, if not, we can just hoard them and port trade them. So 3 finally hit for us um, right after we port traded for that wheat. Someone wants to take it away and give us a wood. Uh, that may be a good idea. That way, if a 10 hits, we'll have the resources for two roads. Um, and maybe a 6 will hit. So if a 10 and a 6 hit, we're pretty much sitting good. And we can build that road and a settlement. Uh, but odds are that's not going to happen. Uh, let's see, I don't think... No, we're not on a 5. 5 is a really good number, though. I don't know why. It's just one of the numbers that I like. Uh, so the 695 are really good resource numbers that they got on the first turn, but you kind of pay going first in a group of four. Uh, going last in a group of four is, is my ideal setting, and also playing with four people instead of three is primarily ideal for me. Um, I don't know why, but I think with more people, I talk with my hands a lot, with more people playing, um, we get the opportunity for more people to forget what everyone has. Um, and if everyone else forgets what other people have, um, that they have a chance of forgetting what you have. Everyone hates me still. Um, and really three other people are not really all that difficult to try and memorize when you can physically see everyone picking up the cards and knowing what's going on. So there's that six, so we would be able to build a settlement now. Um, so I like playing with that many people, and then so everyone's only able to build or trade on their turn, so you can kind of gauge at what people have as the game goes on. Um, the reason that I say that four people is ideal for me is that five and six, it opens up all build. Um, and so people are able to build in between everyone else's turns, so they're able to use their resources that they have. Um, 
and that's not really great for the way that I play because people are able to kind of plan ahead and, and go step by step instead of um, kind of spacing out for a little while and then having to decide because I think I take advantage of people in this game which is fine in my eyes because it helps me win um, but I try not to play with people all that often anymore because I tend to manipulate people. Alright, he wants to... I have three and two. That really wouldn't do much of anything for me. Um, so we're just going to cancel this. I have too many cards right now. I have ten. Uh, you want to give me a wheat and take a brick? Hmm. That would even out my wood and brick ratio. Give me another wheat. Um, I'm sitting all right on wheat. I'm going to be getting to that other wheat. So I'll be on three out of the four wheat numbers. Um, the only one that I'm not on is that nine. Jeez. Uh, and that thief is just sitting on that so much. I don't know if I want to do that trade right now. Um, let's go ahead and do it. With me, you always find what you need. I may be able to port trade for some ore after I build a summit and buy a development card. So this guy just wants to trade with me like crazy. Alright, so let's roll. Not a seven, not a seven. Alright, nine, good enough. That guy gets some wheat back. And I get nothing. People are pulling in the sheep. I could probably trade for sheep if I wanted. Uh, but right now. If it's someone else's turn, I'll want at least two sheep. So let's let's see if someone's going to be foolish enough. I will give away a sheep, and I will try for an ore. No one's going to be that dumb, though. Um, so let's port trade. Actually, let's build first, so we don't get too confusing what's going on. We're going to build this settlement right here. Um, so now we're on quite a few numbers. Man, I may be able to get to that. I should have thought of that earlier. The six, five, three, the six sheep, five wood, three brick. I may be able to get to that um, instead of going for that port and get more numbers out of this whole deal. Uh, so let's try building. Yeah, let's build that way um, right now. I mean, this yellow guy can potentially get over there at this three, five desert. Um, but he's probably not going to beat me there. So let's port trade for... Oops. Let's port trade for ore and we'll buy a development card. We're just buying all sorts of things. We're going to own the whole world. Alright, so 20 development cards. And we got a year of plenty. So we'll be able to play this card and get two resources that we want. Um, so we sacrificed pretty much one ore and... Because the number, the other numbers, we're going to be getting a lot of those resources fairly soon if we haven't already. Um, so we pretty much gave up that one ore and we'll be able to get anything that we want. And with this board, most likely it will be two ore. Um, so if six hits, what, twice? Um, what I'll be able to do is I'll get two wheat from that and I'll get two sheep. I'll be able to play my year of plenty, port trade the two sheep for an ore... Um, so if six hits twice, I can pretty much build a city out of that right now with this card. Um, I'm not sure where I'd want it right now. Probably at that... S Ooh. That's a tough one. Um, because statistically, I want to put on that 6103, that first settlement that I placed. Um, but for being equal, I kind of want to put it at that 810. So if this comes up, it's going to be a tough decision of where I want to put it. But it doesn't look like it's going to come up, so I don't have to really worry about it right now. Um, so it is my turn. I have two sheep, two wheat, and I can't do a thing with them. Um, so this has pretty much been a pretty good length of an episode. It's about mm, probably about the same length as last time. Um, so I like to end when I pass the dice. So we're going to end right here. I have four cards. Sean has 11. Marion has Eight, Vincent has seven. They are greedy, greedy, greedy. Um, right now, we're closest to Longest Road with three, which is pretty bad. Uh, we have four points, and everyone else still has the initial two. So 
uh, hopefully we can continue to run the board and run the game uh, kind of stop people from building stuff the only guy who's been getting brick decided that he had to go the other way uh, so he's going to go into that 5-2 or uh, over there in the corner so thanks for watching guys next time you tune in I'll be passing the dice and we'll be taking one more step towards victory